the first UNCTAD and UN Trade Forum gives priority to challenges of climate change, the triple relationship between trade, development and climate. We have taken our eye off the ball on the relationship between trade and climate. It is true trade is not the silver bullet, but it can no longer continue to be on the margins of the global efforts to transform our world into the place we all want to live. This is the essence of this forum. The ACP Group of States is happy to be here for this forum. We've partnered with UNCTAD on very significant areas, particularly the blue economy and questions of ocean governance. What scares me really is the fact that history is repeating itself and it seems like we're not learning anything. We, we're going through the same process that we do after every catastrophe. And the fact is that we're not able to step back and accept that this is now the new normal. But everything begins with the first step. And the steps we have chosen to take with Bongtad are focused essentially on the marginalized. Sometimes we lose the humanity of what has transpired. And to genuinely understand vulnerability, we must bring it down to an individual. The ocean opens up a whole new arena of opportunity for us because the ratio of land to ocean in terms of our marine time boundaries is 85 to 1. The time for doing is now. If not now, when? And if not us, then who? <laughs> The role of the youth when it comes to climate change is critical. This is your dream. There is nothing that you cannot do. I know you can, because everything that I see on social media that you're all writing about is that you're recognising big change, that big change is happening. Coalitions must be formed, and mercifully, technology allows those coalitions to be formed beyond boundaries by our young people. I think the plastics problem in the ocean is a very important problem, uh, but it's a problem that we can solve if all of these areas can work together. Your ability to partner the new generation where there are no silos between sectors, between countries, between cultures, we have no time yet. We have to act, and I think the youth rising up and calling for action is critical. There are not many more storms that we can sustain and remain viable. And therefore, the urgency is now.